Hello everybody, let's talk today about Alfred, which is one of my favorite tools for the Mac. So this is the website of Alfred and yeah, think of Alfred like something like Spotlight that you already probably know on your Mac, which is a search bar, a native one, but Alfred is yeah something similar, but much more powerful. And in this video, I want to show you my favorite features of Alfred, which I use like every day. All right, so let's dive right in. And I already got a list prepared of things that I want to share with you. So first we're going to talk about some basic stuff. So these are some features that you get with the free version of Alfred. So you don't have to pay for that. And later we'll talk about workflows where you need the paid version. All right, let's start with something simple, just opening application. So same with Spotlight, you just open Alfred with a shortcut and then you can open PHP Storm or your calendar, your calculator. You can navigate here and just click to um, open the application. So this is pretty simple, easy, but what you will see immediately um, that Alfred is much faster than Spotlight. So let's try this out as well. Here, PHP Storm. And you see it already takes a little bit more time to open the previews and show you the apps. Okay, next what I have here is contacts. You can check out your contacts like here, my friend Nuno Maduro. I have him here in my contact. And yeah, you can just open it here directly from Alfred. And then we also have preferences. So um, maybe you want to change something for your displays your user and groups or maybe something about your mouse yeah just type it in here and alfred will know about it and take you directly um, to the settings all right so these were some basic ones these features you also have in spotlight but as you've seen in alfred they are much faster so it now gets more interesting with these ones here so system power option, what I meant by that is with Alfred, you can easily restart your computer, um, set it to sleep, shut it down, if I can spell it, yeah, or what I also like to use to lock it down. This is especially what I do if I'm working at a co-working space or yeah, in any other company. So these are things you don't have with Spotlight and they are really um, useful. Okay, let's move on. Find. Um, in Alfred, you have some keywords like find. And with find, you can yeah look for specific um, files. For example, the refactoring UI book, I can look for that. You can also navigate here. You can see I also got a folder called refactoring UI. And of course, when you click it, you can um, go directly to this file. But what you can also do is you can directly open it and then you need to use the open keyword instead of find. And then, um, yeah, let's also go for that. And then I can open here this file. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, there's also more where you can also search inside of files. So with the keyword in, you can look for a specific word inside files. So when I look for something like basics, um, you can see that this is the file that I have opened here. And here I have basics. So um, yeah, Alfred also was pretty fast in yeah, looking into files for a specific keyword. So that's also pretty handy. Then yeah, you can also navigate. So for example, through my sites folder, I have it here, I have my clients, I have my Laravel 6 project. And yeah, you could navigate here through this as well. Um, as a developer, I think we mostly would use iTerm or another terminal to do that, but yeah, it's possible here as well. And what else do we have here? Recent files. Yeah, when you look for an application like Preview and then type the right arrow key, you will see here some actions inside of Alfred that you can use. So you can open it, you can define. Um, if you want to open it with something else. But what I'm interested in here is I can see the recent files. And when I now press enter, I see the recent files. And here, yeah, is the book again that we've seen before. So this is also pretty handy. And yeah, I use quite regularly. 
Then, yeah, um, Alfred is also a calculator, so you can, yeah, just calculate something. And then if you press enter, it will be um, copied and now you can paste it in and yeah, do something else with it. So, yeah, for some small calculation, I yeah, often use Alfred as well. Then if you type something that Alfred doesn't know, you can easily open it inside the web. So let's try. Okay, this is something <laughs> Alfred knows. Let's try with level core. Yeah, you can see already here, Alfred doesn't know about it. And then you have search for on Google, Amazon and Wikipedia, which are built in into Alfred. And yeah, something I also like to use is open something in Google Maps. So let's say I want to open Vienna, where I live. Yeah, that easily opens up here and you can see this is Vienna. And here last we have the clipboard history, which is one of my favorite features of Alfred. So when we go to the preferences of Alfred, here we are inside features, clipboard history, you can activate um, the clipboard history and you can define if you want to store plain text and how long. I like to keep this quite long because yeah, I often copy something that I um, probably need the next week or two weeks later and then I can still find it. This also works for images if you want and also file lists and you need to define a separate short key or hot key for that. So let's close this and when I type this key here, you will see this clipboard history. And here you see some of the things that I have copied in the last last days or weeks and you can easily um, yeah just click it and then it's copied and then you can yeah enter it here if you like or yeah use it wherever you want to and it's just a yeah pretty basic and small features but you will see you will use it all the time so for example for tweets when i prepare some text and i copy it and i will send it later or if you copy something from a file to another one or yeah, for some passwords and um, license keys, it's it's really handy. And yeah, you will, uh, I'm pretty sure you will also need it a lot. So you just need to be aware, you need to activate it in the preferences before you can use it because by default it's not on. And there's one feature that I haven't mentioned here in the basics list is if you type something like a password here, for example, or anything else, you can press command L and Alfred will um, print it like that on the screen so you can easily read it. So I've, I've used it already a few times if I want to show someone else sitting next to me a password and he wants to type it off or for a screencast where you want to yeah, um, highlight any text or, or URL, then you can use this. So just type it in Alfred and then comment L and it will be that big on the screen. All right, so this was it from the basics. So again, these are all features that you get with um, the free version of Alpha, so you don't have to pay with that. But if you want more, you can check out Alfred's power bag. And here you can now use workflows and have a lot of more features. And you have to pay for it. Let me check here, yeah, it's 25, I think, pounds for a license. Um, it's not that much. and uh, I can only recommend it. So what, what can you do with workflows? So you can think of workflows a little bit like plugins that you can use inside of Alfred. So let's start with this first workflow for PHP Storm. Um, when I install it, I get a new keyword called PS Storm, and then I can see all my PHP Storm projects and I can easily open them from here. So this is another thing that makes it yeah quite fast to open a PHP Storm project. So what else do we have? We have documentation. So these are actually three workflows that I use. So the first one is for Laravel. The key that I've defined is LD for Laravel docs. And then I can say like eloquent or whatever you want, mutators, and um, you can easily get here just by clicking on it directly to the level documentation. And this is super useful because it's so fast and it also, I also have one for Vue.js. 
So let's say I want to know something about props. View props, damn, bam, here I am. This is so cool. And I also got one for Tailwind. Um, let's say something about border radius. Here I am. So as you can see, you really get used to Alfred and using all these shortcuts and it's it's so fast to get there. It's it's yeah, impressive. Next, what I have here, yeah. Um I haven't been using this a lot lately, but yeah, just because I don't work too much on the front end. But can I use is a service where you can see if um, HTML features are um, supported in which browsers. And if I try the fair attribute, for example, um, you can see it here, click it, and you get directly to the can I use page where you can um, see if the fair um, attribute is supported in the browsers and it is in most browsers except Opera Mini. So um, yeah, as I mentioned, I haven't used that um, too much lately, but it's also handy. And what else do we have? Yeah, transmit. So I'm using the trans transmit FTP application. And with the workflow that I've installed, I can just type FTP and then I can see all the FTP servers that I have here defined. I just set up a new um, computer, so this is why I only got this one here. But I can also directly go here by yeah, clicking this server. And last here on my workflows list is a dictionary called dictcc. It's an Austrian one that I use a lot, and I just type in here my German word, and I can see it in English. Or what I can do is I can define that I want to translate it from German to French. And you can see that this works as well. And when you tweet a lot or block a lot in a different language, which is not your mother tongue, um, yeah, I guess you will use something like that a lot. And I do. And there are a lot of different dictionaries that you can use. There's also one from um, Google that you can use. and. Yeah, you just um, need to find the one that fits best your needs. And I'm pretty happy with this one by Dick. That's it for this video. I will share all the links to the workflows I've shown in the video in the description below. If you think I missed a helpful feature or workflow, please comment about it below. I'm always looking for new things to make my workflows more productive. I hope I could show you how Alfred works and how it helps you to be more efficient while working on your Mac. Have fun, thank you.